In this video, I want to talk a little bit about salary negotiation and something within it that nobody's talking about on YouTube, and it has a huge impact on your ability to get the best number. You see, at some companies like Amazon, managers will have access to your entire compensation package. They'll be able to see it within internal tools. They'll know right away what you ultimately negotiated, and at other companies, they do not. Now, this can be a positive thing or a negative thing, depending on the manager's position, depending on how long they've been at the company, depending on what salary that they advocated for themselves. So when you're talking to a recruiter, there are two questions that you really want to ask to get clarity on when you're you know, starting these, these conversations. The first one is, is your manager at the same level as you? Um, and they should be able to provide that for you. The other question, which I wrote down, was, is it company policy that the managers have access to your salary numbers? Now, if they have access to your salary numbers and they're at a higher level, they may be able to advocate for you. So that's a, a great scenario. But if they're at the same level as you coming in and you're trying to command a higher salary than what they're getting paid, then the recruiter is never going to let that fly. So you just got to watch out for those type of things because they're traps. Now, this happened to me um, as well, which was really interesting because I had left Amazon, gotten a call from the recruiter. This is back in 2021 um, about a team that I was formerly on. The recruiter told me that my expectation was not possible. And it's so interesting because that person that I would be reporting to was going to be at the same level as me, unfortunately. And uh, Amazon does this a lot where the reporting structure can be very flat. Um, you're reporting to somebody at the same level and it can be uh, really problematic as far as like career growth, upward trajectory, because you have to wait for that person to, uh, to get promoted before you can get promoted. If on the other hand, that role would have been reporting to somebody one level higher and maybe somebody who had joined from Google or Meta. There might have been a circumstance where that person negotiated an amazing salary and advocates for you because they're seeing your numbers. So a lot of weird nuances that are happening in here, but the two that are most important, again, is really trying to find out if your manager is at the same level. And the second thing you want to find out is if your manager has access to your salary. If you combine those two things, they could be detrimental for you if you're trying to advocate for a uh, pretty high salary, pretty high comp package on the entry point. That's all I got for you in this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Um, I think it's something that's really important to point out. Um, I don't see a lot of people talking about this topic. I've uh, experienced this uh, same situation myself and I've had coaching clients that have also been impacted by these exact scenarios coming into either Amazon or another company where the manager has access to your salary. So um, good luck out there. Uh, if you need any help, uh, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can book it on my website, which is in the description below. Have a great day.